Hey guys, thanks for joining me and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. So today I'm just going to get started guys. So I'm going to be using two vases from the Dollar Tree. One 9 inch cylinder vase and one 7 inch cylinder vase. And I'm also going to be using these new candlestick holders, tapered candlestick holders they had at the Dollar Tree. I think these are really cute and I'm going to just clean them off with some alcohol on a paper towel. And then we're going to get started with the uh, decorations. So these are silver pearls. Uh, I picked these up from the Dollar Tree. I used the gold ones last week or a couple of weeks ago and this is the silver version. And as you can see you get four feet and I'm going to be using these today. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to remove the black lines that on the back of the wrap because mm, 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 guys this is a no for me. I really don't like to see that. As you can see I'm showing you now that you can see the black markings they have there. I really don't like the way that looks. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to use a silver metallic marker. I'm going to just rub it over the dark areas of the pearl wrap. I'm going to start using a silver metallic sharpie marker and then I'm going to switch out to another marker because the marker is low on ink. This works really well guys. This actually is going to cover the black lines or the black marks. It's going to make it look so much better and so much neater. So I'm just going to set that off to the side and let it dry for a couple of seconds. And I'm going to move on and start working on this mirrored wrap that I picked up from Amazon. Guys, this is so beautiful. Uh, you get three rows and I've actually been uh, using only the top row of it. So I'm, I want to make this last a while. So the mirror on this wrap is beveled and it looks so pretty. So I'm going to be using one long strip of this one row and I'm just going to start cutting that and then I'm going to move on to the next part of the project. So now that everything is cut and ready to go, I'm going to be using a little bit of hot glue today to assemble this project. You can use your favorite permanent glue if you like, but just for the sake of the video today, I'm going to use the hot glue.
So while that's drying, I'm going to move into the second DIY. I'm going to be using this silver chunky glitter wrap that I picked up from Amazon. This is so thick and chunky and it's really very bright and silvery as you can see. It looks really, really nice. One of the things I like about this particular wrap is that the back of the wrap looks very similar to the front. So it's a clear tape at the back and so that's going to be easy to apply and it's going to look really nice too from the inside. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to cut a couple of pieces down to size and then I'm going to use a smaller version of this wrap. This one is about half the size of the first piece that I showed you and I'm going to be using that on the tapered candlestick holder. So for decoration, I'm going to create some teardrop shape pieces using the same wrap. So what I'm going to do is use this piece of embellishment. This is a teardrop shape chunky glitter embellishment that I used a long time ago on some of my DIYs. So what I'm going to do is just trace the shape of this onto the back of the wrap. Once I finish tracing it, I'm going to cut it out. All right, guys, so this is it. The project came out beautiful, guys. I love the way both came out. Both have really clean lines and they both look really neat and elegant. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it and I appreciate you. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. 
And you all stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.